The GI tract begins at the mouth and ends at the anus, and so there are a wide variety of illnesses that we think of when we think about gastrointestinal disease. Uh, gastroesophageal reflux is one of the most common illnesses affecting adult Americans, um, typically presenting with heartburn, difficulty swallowing, upper abdominal pain. Some individuals can develop allergic inflammation in the esophagus related to food allergy. When we think of the stomach, we think of infectious illnesses, acid-related illnesses. Inflammation of the stomach is called gastritis. Patients, of course, can develop malignant illnesses, cancer in the esophagus and the stomach as well. So in, when we treat gastrointestinal illnesses, we treat upper gastrointestinal illnesses like those, diseases of inflammation or immune-mediated diseases like Crohn's disease, which can affect also the upper gastrointestinal tract or the colon. Ulcerative colitis in the same family of illnesses affects only the colon. We also take care of liver disease, infectious hepatitis, gallbladder disease, gallstones, pancreatic illnesses, which may be a function of endocrine or hormonal related diseases, um, but also cancer. And then we take care of colonic illnesses, which may be also infectious or immune mediated. And of course, we know how common colon cancer is in our population.